With a warming planet, growing population and economy, demand for cooling is set to triple by 2050. Space cooling is a significant source of carbon emissions. It is crucial to accelerate the adoption of clean and sustainable cooling, both to reduce energy use and refrigerant emissions. I am passionate about the work we do at BASE, a Swiss NGO, because we develop actionable solutions that are disruptive, self-sustaining and replicable. We lead the Cooling as a Service initiative, through which we push the adoption of the Cooling as a Service business model across industries and regions. With Cooling as a Service, the provider owns the asset, maintains it and operates it, while the user simply pays for the air that is delivered. First, let's go to India to see how CARE implements Cooling as a Service in the commercial sector. CARE developed Cooling as a Service here in Singapore. And we found India really attractive for us to take the cooling as a service model because it's growing rapidly in terms of development and it's also got issues with scarcity of resources. We found a precinct in India that allowed us to bring alive everything that is great about cooling as a service. Inside these 35 acres, we had high-end manufacturing, education, commercial, lifestyle. All these different spaces had different needs. Working with CARE allowed us to guarantee clean air for all our customers. We were able to provide unmatchable levels of service with a system that was 100% run on solar energy. It allowed us to focus on our core businesses with no hassles or complications, just a simple bill every month on a pay-per-use basis. Schools all over the world are concerned about providing a healthy and a clean air to their children. In a city like Pune, the pollution levels like any other major city are really high. This air conditioning helps us to keep our children away from the harmful effects of pollution and gives them a better environment for learning. The air conditioning really makes that environment for learning and for, you know, being creative. Cooling as a service has allowed us to meet all of their different needs and to serve the interests of the businesses, the community and the environment. Cooling as a service can be applied in a variety of buildings and sectors, from educational to healthcare, from industrial to commercial. Now, let's go to Nigeria to see how our partners' cold hubs are implementing cooling as a service in the agricultural cold chain. Cold hub stands to eliminate food spoilage due to lack of cold storage along the food supply chain. We have 24 cold hubs all across the country at the moment. Each cold room can generate up to 6 kilowatts of energy every hour off the solar panels completely. This place can actually store 150 of these grids. That's about 3 tons of food. Most of our customers are within outdoor food markets. And at those food markets, they get food delivered by the trucks twice in a week. And you have farmers coming from their small farm settlement and bringing in the food. Before Koho come here, I lose a lot if you just keep something before you know that thing have already spot. Like, we are always losing our green pepper. It's a lot of money we are losing. And it's not easy to get all this money back. The business model is a flexible pay-as-you-store model. We charge 100 Naira to store 20 kilograms plastic crate filled with anything from green beans to tomatoes to green pepper, radish, carrots. We are extending shelf life of food to up to 21 days. In 2019, we were able to save 20,400 tons of food from spoilage. That food loss that they used to experience has now become a new income for them. Now I can earn something for myself and even I can send it to my brothers and sisters, even my family. It's helping me a lot. Cooling as a service is revolutionizing the cooling industry just as servitization has been doing so in other industries and at a very fast pace. The model is a key solution to bring clean and sustainable cooling to those who need it. 